afternoon to this uh, today's game between Newton South Women's uh, High School Soccer, the Lions versus Brockton High School. And now for your starting lineups for Newton South Lions, number eight, midfielder, senior captain Casey Lee. I got a Casey Lee here, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, number one, junior goalkeeper, Olivia Dubin. Number four, junior defenseman, Massey Abadati. Number nine, junior midfielder, Lottie McLeod. Number 10, freshman forward, Bria Abadati. Number 11, sophomore forward, Tess Etero. Number 12, junior midfielder, Grace Penna. Number 13, junior midfielder, Sarah Lavelle. Number 14, junior defenseman, uh, Viveka Winston Khan. Number 15, senior defenseman, Kayla Dutton. And number 24, freshman defender, Maddie Gensner. Head coach for Newton South, Doug McCarthy. And now for your starting lineups for Brockton High School. Number 10, senior midfielder, Captain Mio Otero. Number 11, senior defenseman, Captain Jayla Curran Stewart. Number 24, senior midfielder, Captain Alicia Talkman. Number zero, junior goalkeeper, Ailish Olmsted. Number one, junior midfielder, Lena Marion. Number six, junior defenseman, Jada Fernandez. Number eight, senior midfielder, Madison Moore. Number nine, fresh, uh, striker, sophomore, Jara Rodericks. Number 14, senior defenseman, Diana Desrovo. Number 16, sophomore midfielder, Charlotte Linehan. And number 17, junior defenseman, Daylene Souza. Head coach of Brockton High, Tim Kaprinsky. Now if everybody could please rise and face the flag for the playing of our national anthem. <laughs> gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Rocky Marciano Stadium, home of the Brockton Boxers, and today it is an excellent early season matchup for the Lady Boxers as South sectional finalist from last year, the Newton South Lions come to town to face the Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the turf here at Armand Colombo Field. Right now it's nice out at 71 degrees with a slight breeze. It is expected to start raining before the end of this one, so weather will be a factor. No injuries to report for the boxers. And Ella Shemansky for the 
Lions is out tonight. And Larissa Williams is also out, the senior co-captain for the Lions. Busy week for Brockton soccer. Four games here at Marciano Stadium this week. With two for the boys, two for the girls. It is the goalkeeper, the junior goalkeeper for the boxers, Ailish Olmstead, trotting out wearing the double zeros for Brockton. Olivia Dubin on the other side of the turf for the Lions. be Brockton with opening possession to start this one. Neo Tiro to tap it over to Jarrah Rodriguez. And we are underway. No, 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 what's the door Immediate turnover for the boxers. It, number 12 has it. That is Grace Penna. The opportunity, a shot, and it goes wide. Not sure if Olmstead tipped that at all. That was Bria Abiati on the shot for the Lions, and she's got another opportunity on side. She chips it out to the outside, a shot, and a goal. Newton South on the board, just a short 51 seconds into this one. Trying to figure out which uh, lion tapped that one home for Newton South. 11 scored that goal. That is Tess Ertel, the sophomore. So under a minute in, and Newton South is on top. 1-0. Newton South goal scored in the 39 minute of the first half by number 11 Tess Atterell assisted by Bria Abadadi. Alicia Talkman trying to create space. Kicked out by Abiati right into the boxer bench. Talkman to throw it in. This one out of play. Abiati didn't get there in time, so. Talkman to throw it in. Looking to the middle for Otero. In front of her by about a step and a half. And Newton South able to defend. This will be a corner kick now for Brockton. Newton South wearing their visiting all white jerseys with bright orange numbers and, and lettering. Kind of tough to see at this distance. Brockton in their home, all black jerseys. Red trim around the white numbers. Hockman to take the corner kick, curving it outward. Otero heading it, not following up on it. Dalian Souza missed the header attempt right at the top of the box. That would have been the best opportunity for the boxers on that. Here is Abiati going for a run on the near side. She's edged off, and it's going to be a goal kick. Excellent work there by Jayla Curran Stewart. Mm -hmm. 
Brought in without a shot through the first four plus minutes. An opportunity for Newton South right out in front. Can they get a shot off? No. It is sent towards the near sideline and out of play. Sitting back in is Maddie Genzer. Karen Stewart trying to get it out of the boxer's zone. Abiati takes a shot handled by Olmstead. So an offensive onslaught, a couple of shots so far for the Lions. An opportunity in Abiati is going to be called off sides here at the 16 yard line of the football markings. Would have been another breakaway for the Lions. Free kick for Genzer. And an offside's called once again against Newton South. Talking, handling it. Short pass looking for Otero. Accidentally broken up by Jared Rodriguez, who has it now. She's being pressured. Line goes down, and it's going to be a free kick for Brockton from just about 25 yards out from net. Mia Otero to take this one. Just inside the 20. And right through the football uprights. That's three points for Brockton. It's direct on net, just a little bit too much mustard on it. Another opportunity, a pop-up shot is going to go over the Brockton goal. <laughs> Brockton held without a shot now for the first eight and a half minutes of this game. There was a shot, but it wasn't on net. This one all the way back to Olmstead. <laughs> uh, 
Abiati now on the near sideline, looking for the cross. Taps it in. Talkman kicks it out of play, throwing deep in Brockton territory for the Lions. Genzer to take it. And we'll do it again about three yards deeper. Short throw is off the stomach of Jayla Karn Stewart. And kicked out again. It's coach Doug McCarthy calling for a speed up of the play here, and this will be you now a corner kick for the Lions. <laughs> Cassie Lee to take this for the Lions. Through the box, might have gone off the hand, a shot, and it goes wide to the right. Shot almost out of nowhere. Just a quick spin around. Opportunity for the Lions. Newton South going to make some substitutions. Be number three, Nicole Tendonitsky. And number 20, Luca Marceau coming in for the Lions, two freshmen. Newton South substitution. Number three, Nicole Tenendinsky. Number 20, Luca Marceau. They replaced freshman Tess Fitzgerald. And Priya Abiati. Homestead to kick it away. Looking for Lena Marion on the far side. A very young roster for the Lions, eight freshmen on their varsity roster this year to go with three sophomores, eight juniors, five seniors for the Lions. Newton South Lions not to be confused with the Newton North Tigers, whose colors are also conveniently orange. Brockton High has gotten a pretty heavy dose of the Newton Highs in various tournaments over the last couple years. Of course, football went up and eliminated the Newton North Tigers in Newton a couple of years ago. And last season, Lee Boxers basketball was eliminated at Newton South High School in the first round of the MIAA South sectional. First kickoff for junior goalkeeper Olivia Dubin. First Brockton shot coming about 14 minutes in. The sun has begun to come out. Now tripped is Luca Marceau. 
free kick from dangerous territory for the Lions. It's about 32, 33 yards out from net at an angle, so able to curve it is Matty Genser. And headed out by Brockton, not out of trouble yet. Popped back in. Now Brockton able to send it back towards midfield. Olmstead chasing this one down. It's a foot race. The cross broken up by Jayla Curran Stewart. Not out of trouble yet. Sent into the Newton South bench. Missed touch by the Lions lead to a Brockton throw in. for the Lions, not able to get possession and a shot off, but taking back possession. Olmstead <laughs> diving on top of this one. It was Nicole Tendonitsky on the far side applying the pressure. Going to be a penalty kick here for the Lions being taken down inside the box and on the far side. Lottie McLeod, the junior midfielder, to take it for the Lions. Ayla Schomstead, the goalkeeper for the Boxers. The kick from McLeod. Over the net, off the football goalposts. A little bit too much mustard on it. That ought to be a wake up call for the Brockton Boxers. About 18 minutes into the first half. See if they can gonna get their act together and get some offensive pressure. Lana Marion tripped up. No whistle, she kind of went flying a little bit about five yards after she made contact with the ball. Opportunity for the Lions. Newton South timing their rushes very nicely, and this one's going to be whistled off sides. It was maybe half a step off sides in the middle. That would have been that would have been ugly for the Brockton Box. That would have been a four on zero. Oh. Olmstead pushed in the back. It'll be a free kick for Brockton. From the near hash mark, Otero, I'm sure, will take this one. Direct on and over the net again. 
Mio Otero is two for two on field goal attempts from 40 yards out. Brockton substitution number three, Tainara Abru. Timeout called on the field by Newton South. Timeout called by Newton South. 20-39 to go in the first half. The score is 1-0. The Lions leading the Boxers. The lone goal coming 51 seconds in off the right boot of Tess Ertel, assisted by Bria Abiati. to the busy week here at Marciano Stadium. Of course, tonight, girls soccer versus Newton South. Tomorrow night, boys soccer versus Somerville. Thursday's an off day. Friday, we got boys soccer versus Durfee. And Saturday, girls soccer versus Cardinal Spellman. Brockton High football on a bye week this week. Next week they travel to Dedham to or Westwood, I guess technically, to face Severian. Very, very busy week for the Brockton High athletic staff here at Marciano Stadium. And the crew from BCA Sports too. Short kick, Lottie McLeod. Talkman trying to step up on it. Now too much for Otero. I think that was intended for Talkman on the near side. This is going to be an onside break for the Lions. The shot is going to go wide and hit the outside of the goal post. There was Nicole Tandinitsky on the far side. One of the many freshmen on this Newton South roster. Take that thrown about 15 yards too deep in Brockton's territory. Moving back to about 35. Brockton throwing. Jesse Lee, one of the other freshmen for the Newton South Lions, coming in. Newton South substitution number 18, Jesse Lee. Lee replacing the senior Kyla Dutton. Back of the head of Curran Stewart. This will lead to an opportunity if they can keep it in bounds. Not able to. Goal kick for Elish Olmstead.
shot is going to go off the bottom of the cleat, easily handled by Olmstead. Headed nicely by number six, Jada Fernandez. Brockton with one shot on net so far. Two shots technically, both on free kicks for Mio Terra that went through the football uprights. Brockton substitution number two, Jaylena Davis. for the boxers on the far side. About 15 minutes to go, 1-0. Newton South, this one's been kind of a snoozer since the opening minute when that goal was scored 51 seconds in. That's a handball going to be called against Deanna Desernville. Free kick going to be taken by number 18, Jesse Lee. Headed out by Jayla Karn Stewart. Sent high over the top, intended for Otero, taking away. Now it's Jalena Davis trying to settle it down. Newton South grabs possession back. And another offsides, their third of the game against the Lions. <coughs> we have an Injury on the Brockton sideline, number 17, Delene Souza, is being handed a bag of ice by Jerry Connor. Couple of substitutions. Newton South substitution number 17, Andrea Locke. Brockton High substitution number seven, Melanie Tavares. 
Brocken, Tavares in. Madison Moore comes out for Brocken. Want to Marion on the far side has it taken off of her boot. Now Newton South the other way in transition. Substitution. It's number 14, Divisa Winston Khan. Newton South substitution, number 14, Vivica Winston Khan. Looks like it's Deline Souza's quad that's getting a bag of ice. Newton South substitution number ten, Brianna, uh, excuse me, Bria Abudati, and number eleven, Tess Atero. Bria. Abiati back in. Oh, Tessa Tell. Opportunity, it's a three on O. Oh. Now getting back is, and diving is number 11, Jayla Curran Stewart. It results in a corner kick for the Lions. Marion grounding it. Now Jalena Davis trying to chase it down. Lions take it back. Throw a shot on net. Was number 14. Vivisa Winston Khan. Opportunity, Melanie Tavares, her shot blocked away, but it'll be a corner kick. The first corner kick of the game for the Brockton Boxers. Lana Marion to take it. through the box, Newton South able to take it in a shot on, the first shot on net. Coming from Jarrah Rodriguez. But easily saved by Olivia Dubin. 
Now another offsides called against Newton South. Brockton substitution number 15, Martina Grind. The lone freshman on the roster now into the game for Tim Kaprinsky's boxers, Martina Green. Martina Grind, excuse me. The striker for Brockton. And five strikers listed on the roster. Now just under six minutes to go. Jar Rodriguez. And too hard off of the foot of Rodriguez. A couple more lion substitutions. Newton South substitution number 13, Sarah Lavelle. Number 15, Kayla Dutton. Good coach by, good catch by Coach Kaprinsky on the sideline. thrown by Otero, no boxer in the receiving area. for Rhea Abiati. Brockton substitution number eight, Madison Moore. Back in. under three minutes to go now. Deep throwing, Olmstead able to 
pick it up before any of the Lions can get to it. Now turned over, taken back, and now it's Jared Rodriguez, rather that is Jalen Davis sending it across midfield. A shot, and it's going to get inside by about a foot. With 2.10 remaining in the first half, it's 2-0. Tess Ertel getting her second of the game. Official time will be kept on the field. So Ertel getting this goal unassisted. Newton South goal scored in the second minute of the first half by number 11, Tess Atrell. Corner kick ruled here. So Olmstead last touched it. It's going to come from the near side corner. Kick high into the top of the box and headed out of play. Goal kick for the boxers. Madison Moore trying to spin and catch up to that. time here in the first half. There's Bria Abiati. Karen Stewart taps it out of bounds. Abiati unable to get a shot off. Brockton sends it back towards midfield. Here's Aviati, Karen Stewart with the breakup. And sending it out of play. It'll be a throw in from just about the corner for Brockton. Davis called for the push. Had Genzer to take the free kick with not much time remaining here in the first half. The kick from Genzer, direct on net, picked out of thin air by Elish Olmstead. Tapping outside to Davis. It's been a very long two minutes. Bria Abiati chipping it back up for a better angle. Juliana Davis edging off one of the Lions and turning it over. 
This one sent up through the uprights. And the whistles finally blow. It's half time. And the first half has come to an end. It has been all Newton South throughout the first 40 minutes. The score is two to nothing. Both of those goals coming off of the boot of Tess Ertel. So Newton South leading 2-0 at halftime over the Brockton Boxers. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Hello and welcome back to Marciano Stadium, home of the Brockton Boxers for second half action between the Newton South Lions and your Brockton Lady Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above the turf here at Armand Colombo Field. The score is Newton South 2, Brockton nothing. Both goals coming off the foot of Tess Ertel. Bria Abiati with the lone assist. It came on the first goal. Offense has been an issue for the boxers. Only one shot on net through the first 40 minutes. Obviously not ideal for Tim Kaprinsky's boxers. deep in Lion territory. The Lions wearing their visiting all white jerseys with striped orange numbers and lettering. The boxers in their home black jerseys, red trim around the white numbers and lettering. Lady boxers back here at Marciano on Saturday afternoon, two o'clock kickoff for the Battle of Brockton against Cardinal Spellman. Terrell with four goals early last week against the Bedford Whalers. Not able to get anything going to this point. First minute in the last two minutes, it was a pretty sleepy first half. So the current steward who we saw getting taped up at halftime. Back in, now a turnover. Newton South has it and an opportunity. It's gonna be an onsides play. Olmstead able to pick it up.
blocked and tripling their shots on net throughout the game on this first couple of minutes of the second half. Stop by Karin Stewart. A little bit slow to get up, but does indeed pop back up. Gonna be a push against Brockton. Student self free kick from about the 45 yard line. Slowly but surely moving it up the far sideline. Three consecutive throw ins on that far sideline. Throwing from about the 30, the Lions wanted to throw it in about 15 yards upfield. The ref didn't fall for it. Soft's back line able to clear it. Newton South substitutions, number three, Nicole Tanadinsky. Number 16, Margot Madison. Number 20, Luca Marcel. Tanadinsky, Madison, and Marcel all into the game for the Lions. All three are freshmen. broken up by the Lions, out of play. Marion stepping on top of the ball. She's checking her left leg. 
Meanwhile, on the other side of the field, an opportunity for the Lions. Opportunity for Melanie Tavares. It's kicked out by Olivia Dubin. It's going to be a free kick just outside the box. For Brockton, being taken down was Jared Rodriguez. get the shot through the defense of the Lions. No sides called against Newton South. Two shots on net, both easily saved by Olivia Dubin for the Brockton Boxers. <laughs> Tara sending it out to Rodriguez. It's gonna be a corner kick for Brockton. Loose and Brockton's on the board. Madison Moore able to head it down into the ground, it then bounced over Olivia Dubin. And on the third shot on net, finally able to get one home for the Brockton Boxers. Brockton goals scored in the 27th minute of the second half by number eight, Madison Moore, assisted by number 10, Mia Otero. Brockton substitution, number two, Jaylena Davis. So the assist going to Mia Otero. Well, Madison Moore's goal, bring the boxers within one. Newton self responds. Otero taking it. Overstepping the ball that had a lot of top spin on it. Otero for the boxer, setting it up for Melanie Tavares. Kicked out of bounds, throw in for Brockton. Jimena Davis taking it on the far side. Oh, 
grab calls on Sarah Lavelle. Fifteen minutes into the second half, it's two to one. Rockton trailing the Newton South Lions. Sending it over the top, looking for Tavares too far ahead. Push called against Brockton. for Mio Terra to move the required 10 yards away. For a kick, Olmstead charges out and picks it up. Brockton, Mio Taro sending it in on net. Would have gone wide, but Olivia Dubin grabs it. against Brockton, but it's a push against Newton South. Now Tavares, a bad touch. It kind of hit her shin, rolled down her leg, and got a lot of momentum. And Marion's stopping it nicely, and Newton South kicking it out of play. Big guns of Newton getting ready to come back in. That's Priya Abiati and Tessa Tell. The discussion is going to be had between the ref and Alicia Talkman who I didn't think there was any too much contact there at all, but the ref thought it warranted a warning. It's going to be a it is going to be a throw in for Brockton. Otero popping it up to one of Marion, edged off by Maddie Genser. Genser trying to send it wide for Luca Marceau. South's going to win this foot race. Send it back to the goalkeeper. Now it's Vivesa Winston Khan on the far side. Out of play.
free kick for Newton South, just inside midfield. Diving on it. She does, now Madison Moore over the top. Contact with Dubin, but Dubin grabs it. Newton South substitution, number 10, Bria Abadati. Number 11, Tess Etero. called against Brockton. Right. Stewart shielding so Olmstead can grab it. 16-49 to go. In the second half, it's two to one Newton South. Score not representative of what this game has been. Newton South has been pretty dominant throughout the first three quarters of this one. was all over the place and Carl Stewart wasn't happy with a little contact from the Newton South player. The ref brings those two players together for a little conversation, a handshake and no harm, no foul. breaking the ankles of number 16. It's Margaret Madison now trying to get a shot on net is Lena Marion, a diving stop by Olivia Dubin. The message there is that's, that's something, that's progress.
Newton South substitution number five, Tess Fitzgerald. Brockton substitution, Jara Roderick. for Newton South and Ayla Schoenstead grabbing it. Time out called on the field by Brockton. Time out called by Tim Kaprinsky of the Brockton Boxers with 13.37 remaining in the second half. It's 2-1 to one Newton South on top of Brockton. Sending it into the middle of the field for Ania Barros. Now Madison Moore launches a shot and it's stopped by Olivia Dubin. Twelve minutes to go, two to one, Newton South on top of the Brockton Boxers. One set wide goal kick for Elish Olmstead. Stewart sending this one back, back across midfield. Knocked out. Brockton throwing on a Marion to take it. Ready, ready. 
Moore running to from behind, no call. Side. Brockton throwing on the far side. Good turn, Melanie Tavares for Madison Moore's head, and Dubin makes the stop. really come back to have some opportunities here in the second half as we cross the 10 minute mark. Reminder of the new rules this season, the scoreboard clock stops with two minutes remaining in the first half, five minutes remaining in the second half. That is meant as a tactic to stop the coaches from calling unnecessary just kick the ball out not knowing how much time is left keep the pressure up and the game competitive South coaches has his head in his hands on the sideline. Mio Otero with it, trying to pop it up. An opportunity, Dubin's gonna pick it up. Just a little bit too much on it from Mia Otero. Abiati being pressured. She throws her shoulder into Jayla Curran Stewart. Now up for Lena Marion. Marion turning on the Jets. Across for Moore, a little bit under Moore. Now, Nia Barros sending it back and forth. Across midfield, trading. Goes with the Newton South line, 7.45 to go. And a high leg on Mia Otero, Newton South takes over. for Newton South. Good step by Lena Marion to get behind that ball. Here, Karen Stewart sends it towards the direction of Jarrah Rodriguez. Melanie Tavares on the far side, out of play off of Newton South.
Newton South substitution number three, Nicole Tandadinsky. First half went. Brockton's fairly lucky to be only down one goal here. Then seizing momentum in the later stages of the second half. Madison Moore just took one right off the dome, <laughs> right off of her nose. Looks like she's got her the watery eyes. Checking to make sure she's not bleeding. Olmstead pops it straight up. This could be trouble. Official time will be kept on the field. Five minutes left unofficially. Official time kept on the field. We do have a stopwatch to attempt to gauge. Of course, we had it set in the first half, and those two minutes were closer to eight and a half. No injury stoppages as of yet, so it should be fairly close to five minutes. The ref's not allowed to stop play if either team has an offensive opportunity. Newton South substitution number 15, Kayla Dutton. It's breaking the action. We want to thank the cast and crew for bringing you the sights and sounds from Rocky Marciano Stadium on this beautiful Tuesday evening. The second day of Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. Rosh Hashanah to all those celebrating. Our producer, maybe graphics, maybe replay, who knows. The Greek freak, Phil Philippides. A little bit of this, a little bit of that for the Greek freak. A shot. And a nice stop by Elish Olmstead. At the helm leading the ship tonight, Mike the Postman Simmons with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. On camera we have Isaac DeRosa and bringing you all the action high above the turf from the Peter Farley press box is me. The Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Of course, the Peter Farley press box overlooking the Harry C. Allen track. Armand Colombo Field at the John Waldron Snack Shack. Of course, the Rocky Marciano statue. That's a handball, and knowing it immediately was number three, Ania Barros, with about two and a half minutes left. Long shot for Newton South, and is easily stopped by Olmstead. Just about two minutes to go, according to the Mad Dog Research Team's stopwatch. It's cooled off quite a bit. Listed at 70. Real feels closer to 62. With a slight breeze blowing from west to east. It's right to left across the stadium. Lena Marion. Fighting for it, trying to make the turn. Creating space, and it's gonna be a corner kick for Brockton. And this is the point of stopping the clock with five minutes. Brockton's showing a lot of urgency because they think there's only 30 seconds left. It's closer to 90 seconds to go. Low kick for Marion. Loose in the box. 
A diving stop for Curran Stewart. Marion takes over. It'll be a Brockton throw-in. Now about a minute to go. Curran Stewart bumping and fouling Tendonitsky. Timeout called on the field by Newton South. Timeout called by Newton South. Their second timeout of the game. Newton South taking one in the first half and one in the second half. Lady Boxers back in action Saturday afternoon against Cardinal Spellman in the Battle of Brockton. Spellman traveling all the way from the east side. Court Street on top of the hill to Rocky Marciano Stadium to take on the Brockton Boxers. Always a competitive game. Boys playing against Somerville and Durfee in between the two Lady Boxers games. There should be about 20 seconds to go when action resumes. kick for the Lions deep in their own territory. Brockton turning with it. Score two to one. Newton South on top. Bryant Brockton trying to pot one in the last couple of seconds. Talkman back to Curran Stewart. Curran Stewart trying to spin with it, sending it back towards midfield. Trying to get something going offensively in the waning seconds. Across the five and a half minute mark. The ref's got his whistle in his mouth. Knocked out by Deanna Desernville. It's going to be throwing on the far sideline. The whistles blow in this one. Final score, Newton South two, Brockton one. Has come to an end. The final score, two to one, the Newton South Lions getting the victory over your Brockton Lady Boxers by a goal. Both of the Newton South goals coming from Tess Artel, the lone Brockton goal coming from Madison Moore, assisted by Mia Otero. Lady Boxers back at it on Saturday afternoon against Cardinal Spellman, 2 p.m. kickoff. We'll be here for you on Brockton Community Access. Two to one, the final score, Newton South over the Brockton Boxers. Brockton now with two consecutive losses here at Marciano Stadium. For everyone here at BCA Sports, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.